So the video that I'm about to bring to you, um, it's a very disheartening one. It's not one I wanted to make, that's for sure. Um, but again, I'm scripture only, Bible only. It just means what it says. And if somebody goes against that, it doesn't matter who you are. If you will go against it, if you turn your back on the book, then you've turned your back on the book. So what this is, this is going to be a video, a breakdown of the stream and me showing you what it looks like when a believer goes backwards. The worst part about it is most of them will spend their whole lives thinking they believe, believing in vain. And I go over that. That's 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 1 and 2. If you keep in memory what was preached unto you. If you don't keep it in memory, then you turn your back on the Bible. You turn your back on the Bible. You can say you believe all you want. It doesn't make it true. Um, but I want to show you the bitter root that can take hold in somebody because of pride. I'm going to show you uh, a, a breakdown, a, a serious breakdown about somebody that I love with all my heart, but no matter how much I love, no matter how much I love somebody, it doesn't mean they doesn't mean they have to love me back. And what you're going to see in this video is is hatred. You're going to see that hatred from somebody I consider my brother. Um. He that hates his brother is in darkness. That's the truth. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to do a voiceover on a few clips and explain them. Uh, there are screenshots of things that were said prior, a few months ago, um, things that were said between me and Randall, things that he said to me, actually. Um, and the, 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 the flip side to this whole video is that no matter what he does, he'll never be able to make a video like this about me because I've never shown him hatred. I've loved him since the, since the beginning. And his thank you was to falsely accuse me and bash me live. He sided up with the sinners. I'm not accusing him of being one. I go over that later. I'm just saying he sided up with the sinners. That's hatred against somebody that, against the person that converted him. Fucking sucks. I fucked my family up for a long time. Not anymore. Obviously, we're over it. But at the end of the day, I'm just showing you, the viewer, what it looks like when a believer goes backwards. Enjoy. So this is actually a couple of months ago. And this, you, you didn't have to zoom in to read it. But this was in a second group that <clears throat> Randall and Carrie had created. And they I don't know why they created the second group. All I know is that in this group, Randall kept trying to convince everybody that I was a liar. And he was basically trying to drive a wedge between everybody in our group, and that's exactly what him and Carrie tried to do. And they got caught, and when confronted with it, it got ugly, and that's what blew this whole thing up. But you can see in here where Randall talks about how it's a dick-measuring contest for him. He, he, and that's, he literally uses those words, and Tam Tam, Tammy, you'll see her in our lives all the time, she had actually said that that was disgusting. Like that, It disgusted her that he would even refer to the body of Christ in any way, shape, or form as a dick measuring contest, but that's literally what he refers to it as. And it's, it's not that I'm involved in that at all. I know my role in the body. It's that he refused to accept his job as his job. And I mean, that's just what that was. So that's this one next. And next we have this one. This was from Randall to me. I was discussing it with him about the ministry and having to do it. And like having to do the work, having to read and having to, to preach and having to literally put in the time and effort to do the job right, to make sure that when you convert somebody, you fully you fully do it. You don't cut corners. You don't take shortcuts. You make full proof of your ministry. And he had actually snapped. This is where he said, you done fucked up. You'll, you'll realize eventually that I'm your superior. Not my choice, but his. So he says that God somehow told him that he's my superior. He said I was ignoring him, and he said it's my problem. At the end of the day, there is no superiors. The body is supposed to be one. Randall wanted to be the head of it, and he's just not. Now, during all of this, this is still part of that same conversation where um, he, he, up top you'll see he's, he calls me some grunt, whatever. I showed him Hebrews 13.7, and the reason that I was showing him Hebrews 13.7 was because 
it was about me putting him in remembrance as far as reading goes and preaching and da 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 da. Not it's just reminding him to do his job, and he snapped off. I mean, that's you saw the last one. He said he was my superior. Blah 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 blah. So I actually showed him Hebrews thirteen seven, which says, "Remember them which have the rule over you, who have spoken unto you the word of God, whose faith follow, considering the end of their conversation." I'm the one that converted him. Now you'll notice that I also said, "Remember who spoke it to you." Right, but up top, he, you know, right above that, he says, "I'm not meant for battle." Every believer is meant for battle. That's what you're supposed to do. It actually says, "Contend for the faith." It's put on the armor of God, right? And then you'll see where I said, "Your fight is not with me." I'm, his fight wasn't with me, but he was causing fighting. He was causing drama in the group. Then he said, "I would never be able to impose to, on him that I'm somehow in, that he's somehow indebted to me." And now here you will see this is actually. Um, this, this was between him and Tim, I believe. Um, and we do keep these things like it, it is kept and, and, and he men he makes mention of that in this, in the stream from Nick's channel last night. And the reason we keep them is to protect ourselves. The reason I keep it is to protect myself from people like him when they try and falsely accuse and they do things like he did last night so that I can show people that what they're saying is not true. And then that way they cannot hurt the ministry, which he's never going to be able to. But you see here. He says, I'm sure Tick showed you what I said, because Tim and Tick, well, they talk, they live together. So he said, y'all hit me up when you finally see it. Until then, watch how your idle words deny your own brethren. Well, in reality, Randall went on, on Nick's channel last night live and denied all of his own brethren, the whole group. He denied all of us. He denied all the real believers, and somehow we're, you know, he's real and we're not. At the end of the day, it's actually him. So now in this one, what you're going to see is you're going to see it from the perspective of another believer. If you notice the time and date was in the bottom right, you can actually rewind, zoom in and see it. It's October 7th of this year. So you're going to see it from Izzy. This is me and Izzy talking. And we were talking about it because every, every believer that I know had reached out to Randall. We've all tried talking to him. We all tried to ask him why he's doing the things that he's doing. And you're going to see what Izzy says right here as it zooms in. He said... I bring it up because one of the last things Randall told me is that a month ago he received the Holy Spirit. Mind you, this is October this year. Randall has allegedly been preaching the truth for the last year and a half. So how did he only receive the Holy Spirit a month ago? What it is is Randall went backwards. And this is where you're going to see Israel say it because this, this is where it is. He distanced himself. So he said, I bring it up because one of the last things Randall told me is that a month ago he received the Holy Spirit. He asked me if I have it. I said, of course, as he does. You can't be saved without it. I think that's probably another reason why he distanced himself. Well, just thought I'd get that out. He said, well, thought I just thought I'd get that out. He was basically letting me know that, hey, Randall had said that a month ago he received the Holy Spirit, when at the end of the day he was already supposed to have had it for over a year. So what Randall really did was, oh, and you're going to see that later, uh, giving way to um, seducing spirits. And that's, that's what has happened. And so now what you're going to see here is how Randall talked to another one of the believers. Um, and then this is Tick. Tick Tick is rock solid. I've known Tick for two years now. And um, I know him, you know, in, in his life and him and Tim, they're, they're, they're rock solid. They're perfect. And Randall said his attitude was shit because Tick reached out and he cared. And then Tick also showed him Hebrews 13, 7. And R Randall just snapped. And then... So the whole conclusion of the matter is the whole video that I'm about to go over with you. And really, I hope you guys learn from this because this is what happens when you don't read. Okay, so I'm going to go over a couple of things with you really quick just to show you. Um, this is a video that I'm not too particularly happy about making, but um, it does need to get done. I mean, there's no, there's no other way. The only way that I can show you is to show you. Uh, but I want to go over a couple of verses first. Uh, the verse that I'm going to show you right here on the screen is 1 John chapter 2, verse 11. It says, But he that hateth his brother is in darkness, and walketh in darkness, and knoweth not whether he goeth, because that darkness has blinded his eyes. Now, I know that I've showed you some screenshots. I know that I've, I've showed you some things going into this. I know there was a clip from one of my shows the other day uh, prior to this. I know that I'm showing you. That's that's what I'm doing. I'm showing you. Everybody that says you can't lose your salvation, that a believer can't go backwards, I'm showing you what it looks like when they do. 
And like you've heard me say in times past on tons of videos that I've done, it's an ugly mess and you can't, there's nothing I can do to fix it. There's nothing I could do to help. There's nothing I get to sit back and watch. And it's, it's fucking sad. It's really sad. So first John chapter two, verse 11, you'll see, he says, but he that hateth his brother is in darkness and walketh in darkness and knoweth not whether he goeth because that darkness has blinded his eyes. Uh, there's also another verse here. I'm going to show you Hebrews chapter 12, verse 15. Says, looking diligently, lest any man fail the grace of God. And here's how. Lest any root of bitterness springing up trouble you, and thereby many be defiled. And thereby many be defiled. It's that root of bitterness. It's that anger, that hatred. Um, and, and, and what it does and where it comes from specifically, and I'm going to show you, is this right here. And you're going to see that in this clip that we're going to go over. You're going to see that in the clip that this is exactly what happens. And you're going to put it all together and you're going to be like, oh, shit. Okay. So, moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you which also you have received and wherein you stand, by which also you are saved. Here it is. If you keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless you have believed in vain, you have to keep it in memory. The minute that you turn your back on one verse, then you've turned your back on the whole book. The minute you turn your back, you've turned. That's it. And there's, 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 there's no, there's nothing I could do to help anybody, any real believer that, that lets that root of bitterness spring up. I can't help them. There's nothing I can do. It makes me sad. It hurts. It hurts. But at the end of the day, I think this is a very good educational video and I think it's worth going over. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a clip from last night, uh, Randall on signs and wonders. Uh, and he came on and just unloaded. It's very ugly. Very, 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 very ugly. Um, you can see that root of bitterness. You can see it. I have no bitterness towards him whatsoever. I don't even care. Like, I make all the false accusations you want, do whatever you want. At the end of the day, I know where I stand. I know that I don't have any bitterness. I have no hatred. I have no nothing towards anybody. Just love. Right? And. You're, you're going to see. So I'm going to pull it up. Here's the beginning of the clip. Uh, you'll Loud see I'm right here. Decide. No, well, you're home. Okay. I'm right here. Randall's right there. This is the first time we've talked in months. Um, and you've, you'll, you'll see why. I don't know if you saw it before I added this or after whatever it is. You're going you're gonna to see why. You're going to understand why our group, as in a full group, many people, where is it's playing catch up? Okay, so many people have talked to Randall. Many people have talked to Randall, and many people, now it's skipping. Okay, so many people have talked to Randall, um, and a, our whole group has come to the same conclusion as far as when compared to Scripture. And that's what I'm going to do with you right now is show you in comparison show you in comparison to scripture uh, just how this works so here he goes right in the beginning you're going to hear uh, right in the beginning you're going to hear him tell me how my house of cards is going to come crumbling down which he said this months ago but it's actually only gotten stronger so and that in itself is proof to you you know it's let the prophets let let a prophet be subject to another prophet that is actual scripture, and none of his come to pass. So let's watch. About it, and we decide. No, well, your whole fucking house of cards is gonna fucking topple around you. You okay. fucking fraud. I'm sure. I don't sin. I'm perfect. I know nope. Jesus. I know the Bible even right. better than you, you do. I read way more Bible. than you do. You but you feel this need to fucking exert you yourself to be to bigger that. than everybody else and yada 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 dude you're you fraud you're fake don't you're a soft ass little Bible. fucking woman abusing man okay. you abuse people that are softer than you and you only now where he said that he reads more than i do that's a lie actually one of the times that he came to live with me 
I sat down to read for like, you know, eight to nine hours, whatever. And he flat refused. And we got into a huge argument over it. And it was it was the first time he was at my house. He was only there for a couple of days. And I actually kicked him out of my house because he refused to read. And then he went back to Arkansas. And then he came back. And I did. I found it hard to find time to read when he was there, um, which is why, you know, he's not. So he, he went back, whatever. I mean, it just is what it is. I He does not read. There's no way. He does, he, there's no way. He, we'll just keep going. Keep the ones whatever that you, you control say, around you. Whatever that's you true. Say. No, it's true. You only keep the ones okay. that you can control. So you can trauma that. bond them. You this trauma bond them to keep them in your circle. Right? And the moment, just like me, the moment that they actually stand up to you, you toss them out like they're not that like they're worthless. That's here's, what narcissists here's, do. Here's the you're a fucking through and through narcissist, dude. Here's the problem with the situation. There's here's there's the problem is that you're preaching works. I preach freedom. That's the difference. It's a free gift with me. With you. You, it's works. People have to work for it. They have to lay yeah, down their true. pussy for you. They have to read a bunch. They have to preach. Now, look what he said. He said they have to read a bunch. Okay? It says, and now, this is what it says. He's mad because I tell people they have to read a bunch. Right? Um, continue in them. First Timothy 4.16. I'm going to pull it up. First Timothy. 416. Now let's switch them out. First Timothy 416 tells you. And this is why I want to show you. He said, take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine. Take heed unto the doctrine. Continue in them. Continue in them. You have to read. The Bible literally commands you to continue in the doctrine. It literally commands you, and Randall doesn't like it. That's what it is. He doesn't like it. Okay? Take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine. Continue in them, for in doing this thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. Now, I'm going to also show you. Uh, actually. Okay. Now, I also want to say that, like, he, he would get mad because I would call. I'd ask him, where are you in the book? How are you doing? Like, what what are you doing to further gospel? Like, like, are you ever going to preach? Are you ever going to start a ministry now or, you know, be a part of the one that we were all working together with? Right. Which our crew still is like we're still growing. I still. It never stopped. Now we're just, you know, we're just Randall's not in it. Yes, I booted him. And it was a it was a mutual thing between all of the group at the end of the day, because Randall was not lining up. And you you see from, you know, whatever. We'll get into all that because it's going to go into the video. But he says, if thou put the brethren in remembrance of these things, thou shalt be a good minister of Jesus Christ. Now, for me, as the person that converted Randall, right, he talks about all this up here. Now, the Spirit speaketh. Now, this this is perfect. I mean, it, it doesn't get any better. First Timothy chapter 4, verse 1. Now, the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. That's what's happened. Speaking lies in hypocrisy. I'm going to show you where he's doing that too. Having their conscience seared with a hot iron, forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from meat, forbidding to marry. Watch, you'll, I'll explain all that. And commanding to abstain from meats, which God hath created to be received with thanksgiving of them which believe and know the truth. For every creature of God is good and nothing to be refused if it be, refu if it be received with thanksgiving. For it is sanctified by the word of God and prayer. Now watch, verse 6. If thou, put the brethren, if thou put the brethren in remembrance of these things, thou shalt be a good minister of Jesus Christ. So as somebody who preaches the gospel, I have to put the brethren in remembrance of these things. To be a good minister of Jesus Christ. Randall's pissed because I continued to put him in remembrance and he continued to refuse to do his job. He refused. He doesn't, he, nothing. He doesn't think there's, it, he, he just completely, what's the word? Deletes 
a good 20% of the New Testament with the things he says. Now, I'm going to show you another verse before we move forward in this video. Make full proof. 2 Timothy 4, 5. Okay. 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 5. But watch thou in all things. Endure afflictions. Do the work of an evangelist. What does this say? It tells you to do the work of an evangelist. Make full proof of thy ministry. Make full proof of your ministry. Randall doesn't believe he should have to. Right? Randall doesn't believe that when we sign up for this, you sign up to make full proof of your ministry. Uh, where do we go? Let's, let's try Luke 21. Actually, that can wait. Let's press play on this. Keep going. In order to prove their... No, I'm not full of it, dude. No, this is why you were talking all your shit before I came on. And then I came on and now you're acting all shook. Yeah, you're shook now that I'm here, dude. You are basically a coward. Are you kidding me, dude? If anything, you're just emphasizing... Then bring your scripture, dude. I mean, I already gave you my scripture. You don't ex exercise authority on the Gentiles, but you want to exercise authority on the believers okay. and then make them suck your seven. dick and then fuck them and all that stuff. Like, you really hey, Randall, think it's okay? Let's go back to basics. Let's go back to basics. What's God. basic? Perry, I mean, literally, like, no, I already, I don't have to go over scripture with. I've already, I've already oh, you given you verses. You know, you've pissed on every verse that I've given you. You don't what even care. Like, you just knock over all the chess pieces. You what shit on the chess. And at that point, he had actually given us no scripture. He had read a couple. He had quoted a couple lines from a verse, but never actually gave a location of it. Never actually spit out any verse. All he had done is accusation after accusation after accusation. None of it being true. None of it. Um, he does point out the fact that I did sleep with another believer. I did. It was a mutual thing between me and that be so-called believer. It was something that we both decided to do, and we did. Um, for me, there is no sin. It doesn't matter. Uh, and that's where, huh, that's where this one came in. So now he's saying that that's somehow wrong. It's not. Like there's no, there's nothing wrong about what we did at all. And really, it was kind of none of his business, but, you know, because of the whole situation that everybody had got caught up in, um, it did make quite the mess because that other believer ended up trying to split my family up and blah, 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 blah. It was, it was a big mess. It was a big mess. Um, but it was between two consenting adults. So Randall saying that, like, it, for him to even, you know, here, I'll just show you. Forbidding Mary, First Timothy chapter 4, verse 3, which is the one we just said. And this is where you see, like, he's saying that if I were to sleep with somebody that it's wrong, blah, 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 it's not. What he's doing is forbidding to marry. He's going right back in this. He's accusing me of a whole bunch of shit, right? When, while he points his finger at me, he's got three pointing back at him. This is coming from this guy right here, this Randall. Randall, gay, he, when he was living up here, he worked at the bar. He was going home with I don't know how many different girls. He actually, one of the girls that my wife works with, he gave her chlamydia. Like, so for him to sit there and say that me sleeping with somebody is somehow whatever, I'm happily married, right? Me and my wife are just fine. Like, I don't have, I'm not under law. And that's where he's, he's trying to shove that down my throat and make me feel like I did something wrong. I never did anything wrong. But as he points his finger at me, he's got five, you know, three, whatever. However, when you point your finger at somebody, you've got three pointing back at you, right? He literally gave somebody my wife works with, he gave them chlamydia. He won't talk about that, though, and then he'll point his finger at me. Just keep watching. I'm going to show you. This is where that, that conscience is seared. Okay, Some shall de depart from the faith. In order to depart from the faith, you would have had to have first been in it, and he was. But as we go, I'm going to show you, and you're going to see where he, he departed. The bitterness took over. Now he's just angry and mad, and all he can do is talk shit. Board and you what strut around like say? you won the game and what you haven't. You play pigeon say, chess through what and through. Say? What does the verse say? I'm not playing your game, Perry. I, I already know what the verse says. Say. Now you'll notice that I put the verse up on the screen, Hebrews 13, 7, that says, remember them which have rule over you who have spoken unto you the word of God, right? So when he says in the last verse that we went over where he says, um, Put the brethren in remembrance of these things, and you shall be a good minister of Jesus Christ, right? 
So me putting the brethren in remembrance of those things makes me a good minister of Jesus Christ, being that I have to put the brethren in remembrance, right? Because I'm the one that spoke the word unto him. I'm the one that showed him the truth. I'm the one that at the end of the day, is it going to, um, I'm, is this the one, Hebrews 13, 7? No, Hebrews 13, and now it's skipping again. Okay, okay. So Hebrews 13, 17 says, I'm going to have to give an account, right? But you see, I've got Hebrews 13, 7 on the screen there, which is what I'm showing him. And we'll pull it up here just so I can show you 17. Hebrews 13, 7. And it's not about a power trip. It's not about, oh, I have authority over you. It's about having um, order. In, it's, a, it's about preventing division in the body. It's about preventing division. It's about making sure that we don't get divided, right? It's about preventing division. It's about making sure that we all stay of the same mind of the same faith, right? It's, it's, it's making sure that we all line up and say the same things. This is where, this is where the fact that Randall is no longer in the group. It's not, it wasn't me. It was, it was literally everybody looked at the situation. Everybody looked at the facts and everybody looked at the scripture and it was just a decision that was made. It's done. Right. And he's no longer a part of that. And that's that's where the bitterness, whatever. So Hebrews 13, seven, you see, I have it on the screen it says, remember them which have rule over you who have spoken unto you the word of God, whose faith follow considering the end of their conversation. So whoever converts, whoever. Right. It says to follow their faith. That's whoever converts you. If you're watching this and you still sin, Jesus made a way for you to be perfect. Whoever converts you. That's whose faith you follow. That's who you follow. That's who has the rule over you. That's who spoke unto you the word of God. Whose faith follow considering the end of their conversation, right? And then that person, whoever converted you, should always put you in remembrance of these things. Do, 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 do. Now you'll see down in Hebrews 13, 17, right here, it says, obey them which have the rule over you. And you know from 13, 7 that that's who spoke unto you the word of God. And submit yourselves, for they watch for your souls, as they that must give an account, that they may do it with joy and not with grief, for that is unprofitable for you. Now, what Randall doesn't realize, right? Well, what he it's not that he doesn't realize it. He knows full well he's turning his back on the book. He's turning his back on the scriptures. He doesn't want to make foolproof of his ministry. He doesn't think you should ever have to read, but the truth is you do. The Bible says continue in them. Um, it, it, Reading is the biggest thing. Uh, John chapter 8, verse 31 says, Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him, um, Continue in my word then. Hang on. I want to do, I want to do this one. John 8, 31. Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him, If you continue in my word, then are you my disciples. That's, that's the whole thing. If you continue in the word. If you don't read, then you're not continuing in the word. The word just doesn't magically show up in your heart because you think you believe. That's not how the Bible works. You have to sit down and read the book over and over and over and over. You have to figure it out. Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him, if you continue in my word, then are you my disciples indeed. Okay? If you don't continue in the word, then do you really think you believe? No. That's the truth. So, uh, and then I want to see this where. Peter says, be thou okay. First Timothy 4.12. Actually, wow, a lot of this is First Timothy. That's good. And I know because I just did this the other day, and that's where that other clip comes from. So first Timothy four two two two. What did it say? Be thou a good example. These things command and teach, but no man despise thy youth. Do, 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 do. Right here, right here. Let no man despise thy youth. Now, what's this say? It says, but be thou an example of the believers in word, in conversation, in charity, in spirit, in faith, in purity. Till I come, give attendance. Look at right here, right here. Till I come, give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. Be an example of the believers. Randall doesn't believe he should be an example. He doesn't believe. That's really what it boils down to. He just doesn't believe. 
He just doesn't. He's choosing the world over the book. He's choosing himself over the book. He's falsely accusing me of a whole bunch of shit. Now, you're also going to see, I don't know if it's in there, but he, he had said something about me keeping files on people. When I get falsely accused of things, I clip that shit. I, I save everything to protect myself down the road from people like this. And you're going to see where I said that to him. He's like, this guy keeps files. That's a narcissist. No, I protect my family. I have proof that everything that's coming out of his mouth is a lie. Everything that he accuses me of, he has no proof of because it doesn't exist. It never happened. He's just falsely accusing me, and I can prove it. So that's why I keep everything, which is smart because which is, that's why I can make videos like this. I read the Bible more, more than you do, Perry. Either. I know the Bible falsely better you than you do. I know yes, way more about the Bible than you do. I'm not going to play Because, Perry, in the dick measuring contest, look, I win every time. Look, notice how he's like, I know it better than you, better than you, better than you. Then he's like, in the dick measuring contest. There is no dick measuring contest. There is no better than or worse than that. We're all supposed to be one. That's where he's, that's pride. I'll show you in other clips throughout this video. This is going to be a little bit long, but it is what it is. This is what it looks like when a believer goes backwards. Showing you. It's acting up. I don't like Skype when I got to share video, or I don't like StreamYard when I got to share videos. Let's see if it's straight. Fine, but I don't oh, want to play go. because I don't want to make you feel you insecure because you're already insecure. Randall, you're, you're a soft me. ass, insecure, oh. woman beating man. Randall, you're just an abusive Whoa. piece of shit, dude. Oh, Randall, hold on. I'm not, no, dude. That's what you do with your women and shit. Hold on, stop. Let me talk. Listen to my molding. No, dude, fuck you. It doesn't work on me. That's why you kicked me out of the group. That's why. Because you can't no, abuse me. I'm not going to suck your dick. I'm not going to. The real reason he got kicked out of the group was because he was causing division. He was trying to divide everybody. He was trying to. He was going against the word, right? At the end of the day, that's why he got booted. And it's. We'll go into all of it. fuck you i'm not gonna sit here and lay down my butthole to prove that god loves me no. Nick, if i send you if i send you some screenshots can you post them no barry i'm not go ahead go ahead pull up your that's what's also really funny he's such a crazy narcissist fucking psychopath he's got like files on people like yeah. literally and like the crazy part is they're yeah, only, like, sure no, up, only like snippets no shut up barry they're only snippets of like his parts of the conversation he doesn't show the full now you could barely hear me on that, but you said it was, yeah, to protect myself from people like him. Yes, I keep track of the things people say, and I, it, I have to. I don't, I don't have a choice. Otherwise, anybody could just randomly jump up and say, I did something, and then my whole ministry falls apart for what? For some idiot that's jealous? For some envious, bitter, fucking rotten person who at heart I don't even understand. I don't even understand where any of this shit came from. I mean, I'm sure by now I've already shown the clip, and if I haven't, then whatever, but I'm sure I have, and if I didn't, then you'll see it on here. Anyway, the first, the 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 screenshot of, just waiting for, okay, the screenshot from Randall on Facebook telling me that he's my superior, right? Which, proves what I'm telling you now. So if I hadn't saved that, then he could just run rampant and everybody would believe it. But the truth is I can prove that he's lying. And it's because I look out for the ministry. I look out for the people that I convert. Conversation. He basically, he instigates sure. people until they blow up and then he's like, ha ha, I got you. I, you I blew up. After he sat there and fucking pushes you to the point of losing your mind. No, dude. Well, I mean, go ahead. Read his. Voted him out. Go ahead, dude. Again, the, the, everybody only everybody did that because they're all afraid of you, Perry. Everybody's afraid of you. You are a trauma bonding, abusive son of a bitch. So everybody, they all just basically went on board. No, Perry, they all went on board. With he keeps calling me abusive, but if you'll notice, he's the one insulting throwing names yelling screaming it's not me all i do is show him the verse 
see the verse that I was showing him? Hebrews 13, 7. All I did was show him the verse, and he refused to read it. He refused to read it. He hates that verse. He turns his back on it. You, because they were afraid of being attacked by you. That's all you do. You abuse, you you de you devalue, you toss people out like they're yesterday's lunch, and like that's, that's why everybody in the group is afraid. If you're right, why won't you let me speak? Because, Perry, you speaking is just right. you dancing in circles. Read the verse. Bro, I know the verse. You won't even read the verse I give you. You're a fucking fraud. You're a pussy, and you're What's soft. The What's the Perry, read, read the verse. Okay, fine. Let me pull up my verse. Because we can do this all day long, Perry. Perry, I gave you a whole list. I can read this one. I can read. Okay, fine. Remember them, which have you don't have rule over me, Perry. You went backwards. You preach works. You're not in the gospel. You're not in the gospel, Perry. You preach works. You make people fuck you. No, you want people to fuck you to their grace, dude. You are not in the gospel, Perry. You're not in the gospel. You preach works, dude. You're fraud. No, 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 no. We are. Not the same. Yeah, Me and you, we are far from the yeah. same. You're a fucking murderer. Exactly, Randall, we are far from yeah, the same. You're a murderer. Yeah, okay. through and through. You, Since the beginning. You, you literally you said to me one night, you're we were actually out. Of we were brethren. actually. I, no, I'm you. not. You called me a sinner. You called me a sinner. And I'm accuser of the I brethren. You, I, I never that. once called you a sinner. You I called me. And I actually didn't call him a sinner. I said he's siding up with them. Right, because there was there was another lady on the stream last night that was calling me all kinds of fucking names, and they literally him and her sound exactly alike. Randall, I I don't accuse anybody of sin. I never have, not on any show, any debate, nothing. I'll ask somebody if they sin. If they say yes, then I'll be like, okay, well then you sin. Okay, so then they're self admitted. I'm not accusing them. They do it to themselves. That's not. I don't accuse anybody of sin at all. Jesus made everybody perfect, even Randall. <clears throat> what I pointed out to him was that he is now sided up with the sinners. So he came on Nick's stream to come against me, the guy that preached the gospel to him, right? It's like um, Caesar, right? Julius Caesar. Didn't, who was it that stabbed him in the back, right? One of the senators on the floor was like 50 of them or something. E2 Brute. Remember that? E2 Brute. So it's it's... It's the example. It's what I'm showing. I never actually called him a sinner. I said he's siding up with them, and he does. He sounds just like them. I'm not accusing him of being one. I'm just saying that. I'm just saying that he went from love to bitterness, and you can see it. You can see it. Clear as day. It's bitter. He's bitter. A sinner, you fucking hypocrite. No, dude, you're full not of shit, dude. You've been handled. Bad. You've been served. Go ahead, fucking okay. just go on now. I've been go ahead and just, no. Let's play the game. Game. Come on, read the verse. Read the verse. You literally, you don't even read any other verses. You just Why? try to fucking. What's the problem with this one? Because Perry, you don't have rule over me. You're not under the gospel. You Wait, left your I first love. You went back to work. You, you preach works. You. I didn't. Speak you preach works. No, the word actually. The book, the word, oh, okay. is what converted right. me. And yeah. Disappeared, oh, wait. Well, Perry, so you're not chargeable to anybody because you're only chargeable to the apostles and all them and everything. But apparently, yeah. I have to suck your dick. I have to suck your dick, apparently. So I'm chargeable to you. So I need to suck your dick in order to keep myself. Go fuck yourself, dude. You're such a. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Okay. If anybody can't see this. And this is either. why, dude. This is Better. why. This is why your, your ministry won't grow. Yeah. Oh, wow. Good. Maybe congratulations. 400 subscribers. Good job, dude. If I started some shit, it would go way beyond you. And actually, this now watch. Did you see what he said? I'll, go, I'll even go back a little bit. He said, if I started some shit, it would go way beyond you. Yeah, oh, wow. Good. Congratulations. 400 subscribers. Good job, dude. If I started some shit, it would go way beyond you. And actually, that's the funny thing. And you know what? It is funny. Because to this day, he still hasn't. And that's what me and him originally got into it about i'm like why aren't you doing your job why aren't you reading why why and here's the big thing everybody that he would supposedly convert he would then introduce them to me and then i would find out they weren't actually converted he didn't actually do his job that was the and nothing he brought to the table ever stuck ever nobody he brought to the table ever stuck which is fucking disappointing disheartening very disheartening very disheartening. And the truth is, if he did start some shit, he probably would surpass me. But he won't. 
And at the end of the day, the root of bitterness has clearly consumed him. And I'm showing you so that you know what to avoid. I'm showing you. I'm it's skipping again. I'm showing you so that you know what to avoid. You have to read. You have to preach. That's part of it. So let's finish this up. And then I'm going to show you another set of scriptures. And then I'm, that's just is what it is. Right, I didn't do doing. it while I was around you because You're you always exactly discourage me. what the sinners do. No, you right. always right. discourage me because, right. like, Perry, he always desires to have pre- Now, Nick cut, now Nick cut the stream right there. Nick cut the stream right there. And he says, I always discouraged him. Actually, his whole beef, his whole beef is that I, that I was encouraging him too much, that I was putting him in remember that I was saying he had to read. And you, you heard it yourself in the video. He said that I say that you have to read and you have to, you have to make full proof of your ministry, right? And it's actually not me that says that. It's the Bible. The Bible says you have to read. The Bible says you have to make full proof of your ministry. The verse itself literally specifically says make full proof of your ministry. Make full proof of thy ministry. So all I would really do is show him the scriptures and say they mean what they say, and he flipped his shit. Then he says I discouraged him when really I was encouraging him. He was just refusing to do his job. And then he wanted to take my job, which didn't fly. It's just not going to fly. He's not a good example to follow. He's not an example at all to follow. He really never has been. You know, he's sitting there getting mad because I got laid one day, right? But that same dude goes out and sleeps with 50 fucking girls and then gives somebody my wife works with chlamydia. That's a hypocrite. Speaking lies and hypocrisy. Forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from meats. Having your conscience seared. I have no bitterness towards him. None. Zero. I forgive him for everything he said. I forgive him for all of his accusations. I would welcome him with open arms. But the problem is he's bitter. He's bitter. He, <laughs> I'm going to show you right here. I'm sure I may have already, I'm, I don't know how I'm going to clip all these together, but I'm going to show you this. This is why this says this. Right here. For the body is not one member, but many. If the foot shall say, because I am not the hand, I am not of the body, is it therefore not of the body? And if the ear shall say, because I am not the eye, I am not of the body, is it therefore not of the body? If the whole body were an eye, where were the hearing? If the whole were hearing, where were the smelling? But now hath God set the members, every one of them, in the body as it hath pleased him. God set us, set the believers in the body as, in their position, as it pleased him. Hebrews 13, 7 says, remember them which have rule over you, who have spoken unto you the word of God. I'm the one that converted Randall. Randall now will not even admit that I converted him. But he has to look in the mirror knowing every day that I did. And so he literally, he said it in the video, he was losing his mind. He literally, he really is. He's losing his mind because he knows. And there's nothing I can do to help him. But I can show you so you know. You have to read. You have to preach. You can't just, <laughs> I mean, you just can't. And that's, and here's where we're going to go next. We're going to go, we're going to do two, two verses, Luke 21. Let me see. <coughs> now watch. Uh, is this it? To heed yourself with any time your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness and cares for this life so that the day come upon you unaware. Um, I'm looking for a specific thing. So you hear him condemning the shit out of me, right? In every way. He said, I'm not of the gospel, blah, 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 blah. Nobody's ever said that to him, ever. I'm showing you now. I'm just showing you what I see, and I'm comparing him to the Bible and showing you the root of bitterness, and I'm showing him, really, at the end of the day, I'm showing him his own reflection. Um, but 
this is this is what this is what's happening. Two two two. Where is it? Uh, shall begin to smite fellow servants. Matthew twenty four forty nine. This is this is what's going on with Randall right here. Matthew twenty four. <clears throat> 49. So who then is the faithful and wise servant whom his Lord hath made ruler over his household to give them meat in due season? I'm one of those, a faithful and wise servant whom his Lord hath made ruler over his household to give them meat in due season. I know that. I trust that. I've done the work. I make full proof of my ministry. I know many people that are the wise servant. I know many of them. And all of them were in agreement on the decision as far as Randall goes. So it's not like you can look at me and say, oh, you did this. No, it's, it's, it, was, it was a group collective. Randall is the only one in Randall's world that believes his bullshit. Verse 46, blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. Okay, When Jesus comes back, he needs to find you making full proof of your ministry and reading. End of story. Verily I say unto you that he shall make him ruler over all his goods. Verse 48, but watch this. And this is where you compare the two and you see. But, and if that evil servant shall say in his heart, my Lord delayeth his coming, and shall begin to smite his fellow servants. That's what Randall did. And to eat and drink with the drunken. That's what Randall does. The Lord of that servant shall come in a day when he looketh not for him, and in an hour that he is not aware of, and shall cut him asunder and appoint him his portion with the hypocrites there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Now that root of bitterness, and then this. I mean, this is literally what the Bible says. I'm showing you what it looks like so you can avoid it. 1 Corinthians 15, 1 and 2. <clears throat> Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also you have received and wherein you stand, by, the which, by which also you are saved, if you keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless you have believed in vain. So Randall can say he's not a sinner all he wants. He can do all that. But he is clearly not kept in memory what was preached unto him. He clearly does not accept that I converted him. He doesn't want to do the work. That's why he said, if I start some shit, because he never, he never has. A sad day but now you see and the conversation went so much deeper after that last night and it cut that stream but it's pure anger pure bitterness and it'll ruin you it'll ruin you be careful love y'all and uh let's see what else we got on the docket for today enjoy your day